Hi everyone and welcome to this series on JMeter beginner tutorials. So this is the fifth series of these tutorials and in the initial uh, videos we have seen how exactly do we uh, download and start JMeter on Windows and Mac and how do we create a test plan, a basic test plan, how do we do a very basic performance test. In the earlier videos we looked at how to add listeners and how to add assertions in the JMeter test plan. So this is the fifth uh, session and here we will look at how to record a UI test. In the earlier sessions we have seen how can we do a performance test on a simple web page but just suppose in real world you do not have a single web page you have to test an entire website which will include a login page and uh, it can include some forms to fill it can also uh, include various kind of user actions so to capture all those actions manually in a JMeter test plan will be very difficult and time consuming so we will we have some options to actually record a web test plan and create a script out of it and give that script as an input to JMeter okay so let's go to our JMeter and uh, let us say this is our test plan okay now you see a workbench here I can do a right click on the workbench do an add non-test elements and you see uh, the test script recorder okay now this is uh, the you know uh, the original way of doing a recording for JMeter but now we have a lot of plugins and you know other softwares which can do these things for us so uh, here what we use today is we used to give some port number and then we used to configure our browser with the same port number whatever we have given here so for example I have given 9090 as port number here I'll go to my browser and I will configure port number 9090 and then whatever I will start on that particular port will be recorded and it can be used as a test plan for JMeter okay but because JMeter is an you know open source application and a lot of people are developing uh, tools and plugins which can be used for JMeter we will go for that and we will not uh, look at this approach so I'm, I'm just uh, going to remove this element okay if you still want to know how exactly to use workbench for recording you can uh, uh, put your comments in this video or there are there are other videos which uh, show how exactly to do, do this so I'll not be uh, covering this topic but let us see uh, tools available for recording JMeter UI test okay so if you are on a windows uh, you can use a tool called as bad boy and if you go and search for bad boy software you will get this uh, tool so it is saying bad boy is a powerful tool designed to aid in testing and development of complex dynamic applications so it is a very good tool where you can record and replay and do uh, several other similar things so we are going to go to the download section and you can fill this uh, name and email and click on continue and here you can see uh, these are the all the versions of bad boy so the current version is 2 to 5 okay so you just go and download here so it will get downloaded as of now I am cancelling this download because I have already installed this software so once this is downloaded you can run the exe and then you will get your bad boy and you will get this page as soon as you will start the software okay now uh, you can see this record button here right as of now it is already enabled so what I can do is I can directly start my recording so I'll do a recording for a website called as uh, life charger okay and as soon as I click you can see these steps are coming here and the website is also coming here so let me just do some actions on the website I'll click on the home page and you can see this left side pane all my steps are being recorded here I go to the about section uh, let me go to archives uh, let me also go to some of the articles on this website okay let me again click on the home page and 
I'll just stop it okay so now you can see it has recorded my script and all the actions are being recorded and you know uh, it is a very good tool you can actually use it for your simple record and replay and testing of the website you can add some assertions and things like that right you can see that there are a lot of things you can do but as of now I am using this tool just for recording a JMeter test so what I'm going to do now is I'll go to file and you can see this option export to JMeter I'll just click here and uh, you can see the extension it is .jmx so .jmx is the extension for jmeter scripts I'll say this is my first UI test and save now my test script is saved I just have to go to my jmeter now and what I need to do is uh, let me start a new test plan and what I need to do is I just have to go to open and this is the script I saved I'll select this and open and you can see it has created a thread group some config elements and then the steps and if I expand the steps I can see these are exactly the actions that I recorded okay and uh, all these things that I used to do manually earlier to put in the you know the server name the port number the protocol the path everything is now uh, you know automatically generated from the script okay uh, let us also understand about this cookie manager so uh, if you go to this HTTP cookie manager you can select this clear cookies on each iteration so what does this mean is every iteration of the test will start fresh and will uh, the cookies will not be saved right uh, so we have some other elements the only thing left here is I have to add some listeners so I can do a right click add listener and I will add some listeners and I can uh, set up my test with whatever users I want and I can start it okay now this is one of the option bad boy software okay now the only uh, negative point here is this is available for Windows as of now I could not find a version for Mac so we have another option for this which is blaze meter and this is going to be a chrome plugin and because this is a chrome plugin it can be used on Windows as well as Mac and other OS as well okay now uh, to get this plugin so uh, before that let me tell you blaze meter is in itself is this a uh, performance testing tool and software that uses jmeter at the back end okay and they have a beautiful chrome plugin which we can use and to get the plugin you go to your chrome settings i'm going to my extensions uh, scroll down and you see get more extensions click here and here I'll search for blaze meter and the very first option you will get this plugin so for me it is already added so I'm not getting this add to chrome button but for you you will get the button and you can directly add it to your chrome browser so I'm as of now I'm uh, closing these and you can see I have this I have this plugin here okay uh, so what I need to do is I have, I can record my test case now okay so I will hit the record button okay and I'll go to my uh, browser chrome and let me go to uh, let's say wikipedia and you can see as I'm uh, doing some actions the number here is getting increased right let me go to login uh, put some username and put some password and select login so of course this is an invalid uh, username and password I'm going to the home page again and now I'll just go here and I will close I'll stop this recording okay now you can give this again give this some name to this test I say my first UI test and now you can see this button export to JMeter
okay now in case you are getting this button disabled make sure you are logged in you will be getting a sign in or login button here and if you click here there will be a simple form and you can fill it up and you know uh, sign into blaze meter and then you will get this button enabled just click here okay so i'm getting some options so i just want to add this submit and you can see it has downloaded this jmx script okay so what i need to do now is again i'm going to my uh, jmeter go to open and select this script that we just downloaded and again we have got some config elements and then we have exactly what i recorded okay so you can see exactly these are the pages i went to and also you can you can see that uh, i did a login with username raghav and this is the password i used which is of course a invalid password so it has captured everything so i do not have to do anything manually the script has done everything for me so these are the steps you have to uh, after uh, downloading and uh, setting up any of these free uh, softwares or tools you have to record a test you have to export as jmeter which is dot jmx script and then you have to open the script in jmeter and then other thing you have to do is you have to add listeners okay listeners will capture the uh, data of our run so you can see everything is added here the only thing i is left is i have to add some listeners let me add a table listener and uh, let me add a tree listener okay now i just have to uh, set up my threads and users and i can just uh, run this test okay so my test will be running now and you can see uh, this is the test being executed so you can verify the results by going to any of the listeners and checking the results okay and then you can uh, configure the users to a higher number and do the performance testing of your application okay so uh, this is how uh, so let me also add this last step will be run and validate okay so uh, this was all about how do you actually uh, you can record a script a ui test for jmeter and directly export it to jmeter and you can start the performance testing of your website hope you like it thank you